Hi, everyone. It's me, I'm Mina. And we're back. After a... After a pretty good while, if I remember. <sighs> I hope you are well. It's been a while, Mittens. Let's get to it, huh? I don't remember <laughs> at all what we were particularly doing. Apologies for the load loading. If there was one thing I could change about my current setup, it would be just the fact that like loading a save typically means um, Speak to Mercer Frey. Retrieve a love of the feebles gold ring. Oh, we've got a lot of bullshit. I see. Okay. Right. Okay. Alright, so, um... We have a quest. And we are going to ignore it, unfortunately. Well, for the... No, pretty much entirely. Actually... No, we could... We can take the Riften... We can take the Riften path over to Whiterun and then up to Dawnstar. Let's see... Oh, I am nearly over encumbered, huh? I do have some very nice clothes. I'm going to move some over. Mittens has a knife. Wanted to say something. Mittens has a knife. Um, it's just a knife. <laughs> Nearly had my phone playing my voice. Terrifying, frankly. Okay. So, instead of just doing my typical things, there is something that I wanted to get done. Um, uh, and it's, it's mostly out of curiosity, but it also will lead to a nice, um, a nice new fashion. Um, 
Holy shit, Mins is level 16? Since when? <laughs> Do you have any Take a look. Since when is Mittens level 16? How did I do this? You won't believe it. I have no I have no memory of like what potion ingredients are what. Truly completely lost. All right. I'll sell two of these. Yes, yes, goodbye. Mm. I'm gonna be real. The knife is mostly just to deliver poisons. Um, because Mittens has been on a little bit of, an, of a brave streak. Um, it's mostly motivated by coin. But she's part of the Thieves' Guild, and the Thieves' Guild, turns out, um, involves a fair amount of dungeons. And this is the this is the closest that she so far the closest that she's gonna be. Okay. Need a ride? Where do you want to go? I am paying your entire wage, man. But I wanna go to Whiterun. That's going to hit my, um, my everything, so we're going to have to stay a night in Whiterun. Oh man. Sunday, uh, I got in back to my, back home, um, around, what was it? It was like... 9 p.m. So, like, but at the very least, like, my family, or me and my dad had stopped for, um, stopped for food. I can't imagine, like, basically the same thing, but, like, feeling obscenely hungry. Hi, Bellathor. So, the funny thing is, is that Mittens is probably like my preferred. It's, it's everything I could have hoped for. That's very nice. Um, <laughs> it's like the one. It's like the major glitch. I work for Bellathor at the General Goods Store. Hey man, hey ma'am. I want a room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Cool. I'm also going to I'm also going to take some food. Ooh, catfish. Um, but it's interesting because I like playing Khajiit. Khajiit and Argonians are probably my go-to. Um, yes, I am a furry. How could you tell? Um, but like, I'll show you through your room, right this way. The security in White Run is terrible. Shameful is what it is. Uh, the... Okay. Sleep until 8, I guess. Um... But the, uh, like, because I dislike the whole cold mechanic, or at least in the sense that I, I don't like it because it it makes me paranoid about being too cold. Three fucking apple pies for breakfast. I ain't asking. Yes. Just a few seconds. 
Maybe some other time I'll reveal your destiny. Hmm? Tea leaves, palm leaves. All right. But um, like survival mode makes makes my two preferred classes as like the Argonian and the and the Khajiit. <laughs> Um, it makes those particularly, they're now very different, because, um, um, Argonians are, like, weak. It's everything I could have hoped Lucia, I spend can you at least actually get to the house, please? It's everything I could have hoped. That's really sweet. I have a I'm really glad. I, I can't thank you enough. Yeah, I'm really glad. I wish you would actually go to the house. But like Argonians now are like we like if I were an Argonian, um, let's look at the active effects here. Um, your Kaji blood improves your resistance to cold environments by fifteen per by fifteen points. Which isn't a lot, but like if you, but like Argonians are actually weak to <laughs> to cold environments. They're so they get cold faster. Um, and also the thing is, is that if you swim, if you swim, you're gonna get hyper. Th you're gonna get like a lot of cold build up really fast because a lot of the water in Skyrim, you'll never guess. Uh, is cold. Um, You're someone who can take a look. But like, yeah, she's she. If you're cold, she's cold. Anyway, um, but like, if Don't if you swim, you're you you're gonna get cold even faster, which can. I don't think it can kill you, but it will drain your health in very fast. Um, so it's very funny to me. Um, basically how quickly, how, like, in the, in, within the context of survival mode, I basically never want to ever touch, um, playing a Khajiit. Or, no, sorry. Argonian. Argonian are, is the one that I don't want to touch when it comes to survival mode. Um, which is sad, because I like I like um, Argonians. Argonians are actually fun for me. I enjoy... I enjoy them. I enjoy the beast races. Because, again, I am a furry. Um... You're much harder to find without your tent. Take a look. Oh my god, it just got really warm in my room. <laughs> I was I'm wearing a jacket because because it can get kind of cold in my room and also my jacket is comfy. But oh my god, it just got really warm. <laughs> Oof. I'm still not feeling 100%, which you can probably tell just because of my general brain spaciness. Uh, but I wanted to stream because I enjoy it. It's a genu it's very fun for me. Um, you know, wanted to touch base basically. Okay, so fortify health um, and restore health are ones that I want to keep and not use. Because the fortify health stuff it, stuff is very is gonna be very strong. Sixty-five, sixty-six, sixty-five. Weird. Uh Okay, so now we're heading to Dawnstar. 
Good to have you by my side, friend. I need reliable You know, in the event that Mittens... Well, she can't, because of reasons. But in the, if, if Mittens ever actually became, like, the Dragonborn, because of all of the time I've spent just, like, talking to random civ civvies, um, and, like, doing the, the like, run-of-the-mill quests, she might just be, like, the best hero. <laughs> like, she she's really a hero of the people, despite being, like characterizes a largely like not particularly moral character but like she's she's she, she's um like her like her reputation despite like being in in it almost entirely for profit um is like becomes almost uh Like, by word of mouth, she becomes almost like this heroic figure, almost. And I think that's funny. Just because, like, she... She's, one, uh, like, currently doing Thieves' Guild stuff. Two, actively... Is actively selling, like, potions that are just valuable by the game's system. Not actually very, um... very helpful to people um she's really only in it for a profit but she but like the fact that she like has gone out of her way to like help just random people on talking quests um i think is is kind of funny I am quite warm and it is not feeling too great. Hey Cicero, didn't I help you? I will wait for Lorius. Oh yes, mother and I will wait right here, right here until he fixes our wheel. Okay. So I looked something up um about this bit um which is just the fact that like um it points out that, like, as soon, basically, like, if you, if you, um, rat out Cicero and, like, be like, hey, guard, um, Cicero is being suspicious, um, like, Cicero will, like, break out of the jail and just kill, <laughs> um, Lorius, so, like, So, you know, it's kind of, it's kind of silly, but, like, it, like, it's hard to really gauge the, uh, the theoretical morality, because you're not, like, your character shouldn't know that he's carrying the Night Mother or is part of the, bar the Dark Brotherhood, it's just a guy and he's a little weird, sure, but you, it, he still deserves help. But, like, if you... So, like, if you kind of do the underhanded thing... Um, surprise, uh... The person that you're trying to help more... Um, is actually... G ends up dead. Wait, where'd the other guy go? Dude, come on. No, I didn't mean to hit my horse. I can't believe 
believe I'm letting Mitten stoop so low as to use Restoration Magic. Now, Mittens has become brave enough to do this, for now, I've decided, which is just to, um, slip, uh, take on a couple of bandits for the purposes of, of getting warm. I don't remember any of the stats I've given her. Her restoration is decent for reasons, but eh. Okay, I gave her backstab, which is fine. Won't trigger pressure plates, silent roll, silence, and shadow warrior. Okay. She's alright at pickpocket, but not great. Obviously pretty good at alchemy um, and getting there with speech. The next speech thing is one level away. I've been playing a character arc, exactly. Now whether that ca this character arc carries her to a darker path or, or a or one that is more noble, we shall we shall have to see. Because right now she's going towards crime, and is just more willing to attack, to fight shit. I have yet to decide, but it, she might end up doing the Dark Brotherhood questline. You know, the further I get from like... from like being the... like an edgy teen, I guess, the more and more like... it becomes harder for me to like... not agree necessarily, but like find reasons yeah, she like will she become full out assassiny? I mean, she's very good at poisons. It would suit her if she can, especially if she can get like a decent enough. Okay, so here's the thing: is pickpocket skill is very frustrating. It's not just a tool that you have if you're really good at sneaking or very good at alchemy, um, or anything. Pickpocketing is like its own skill. In like, it's it's it. it why? But my, but at level 40 pickpocket, you can silently harm enemies, which means they don't notice, and none of and no one, and no one around you notices. Um, if you place a poison in their pocket, so you can poison somebody, and then they won't care. <laughs> um, or they like they'll they'll die, but like you can just. If you have a strong enough poison, you can just pickpocket some, like, reverse, you can, like, plant it on them. Basically, it lets you poison somebody, and purely poison somebody, um, which makes for a very effective, like, assassin tool. Because it's even more effective than, say, um... Like, it would be even more effective than, like... Okay. Well. It would be even more effective than a sneak attack, especially in, like, an open area, because if you have... A, if you do it, I think... I'm almost certain that, like, it won't actually trigger like an alarm or anything it's just like oh no that person died oh dear how could this happen
So, funny thing about the Draugr that I learned semi-recently. see but but arcane you've fallen in my you fallen into my trap I am now only going to be playing mittens milk drinker in every D and D campaign my whole life is only mittens now no but like I kind of want to. I kind of want to try that. I do I do actually want to try making mittens. The only problem being like like what the fuck is she? <laughs> like I guess an I guess I could do like like alchemist alchemist like alchemist artificer and then like some kind of rogue, like thief like thief alchemist build multi-class maybe is she a bard <laughs> what is this woman <laughs> all right we we've warmed up um But yeah, um Honestly, honestly, more so, the thing that I want to get into with Mittens is, like, is, like, now her chal- part of her challenge comes from the fact that, like, she, like, she's not one for- she's okay with armor, but she doesn't get her damage from, like, from, like, her weapons. Like, she's not a- she's not much of a weapon fighter, which- which would be fun, like, building her entirely to be, like, like, like her weird potions. Um, which you know, I hon honestly like. I think I think potion magic um, is a very fun uh, spell type. Um, like, uh, build her as a rogue with a little bit of cleric. I don't know about cleric. I do. I do kind of want to put her into into the uh, alchemist artificer. Um. Depending on depending on the setting, I suppose. But like alchemist artificer is something that I've wanted to try anyway. Um. But the thing with the alchemist artif but like I really like the idea of alchemists and like brewing potions or like or like putting something in a mortar and pestle and like in like that becoming that doing magical shit um uh because like when i'm going the wrong way aren't i yeah there oh my god okay so the road the road here like i never notice that it hooks right and so i always if i'm not paying attention i always end up going back to like looping over to Windhelm instead of actually heading um, towards towards Dawnstar. I don't know why. I just never see like the left turn I'm supposed to make. Honestly, this is such a survival. This is such a fun survival mode playthrough of being like, like starting basically as a coward and then like, like going into this like 
poisoner sort of thing. Um. Oh, that's why, because it's like, it's such a sharp turn for some reason. Um. But yeah, like, uh. I've been genuinely considering. Um, even though it would be such a pain because of how that, uh, because of how the resources for crafting the potions works in that game, but like I've been considering like a perfumer type build um, for uh, um, for Elden Ring because the perfumers I think are really cool. Um, the closest I've gotten is I have like sort of a basically like like full strength build like straight up. Like just strength, like t like tanky, big, really big hits, kind of, kind of deal. Um, uh, but I like I pivoted slightly to being, to it being like an omen killer, type, type build because th those those guys are fucked up, but they have such an aesthetic, and also they are per they are ostensibly perfumers, so it so, perfumers, so it lets you. Um, they're an offshoot of perfumers, that is. So it lets you kind of, um, it lets you, you can kind of like pretend a little bit, like, oh, so this is like this is the strong perfumer. This is the this is the warrior type perfumer, um, and then you can use the perfumes. And I tried that. Um, it's very funny because it means like 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 having things in a very different like setup. Where instead of, um... It, I don't know, it's just very interesting. Oof, I'm getting... I'm getting cold. You know, a potion of invis... Uh, the potion of invisibility is not very easy to come by. Or to make ingredients with, because I think, like... The quote-unquote easiest way to make it is with Luna Moth Wings, which you can only get if you go out at night and like and like run around and find some Luna Moth butterflies. Luna, Luna Moths are not butterflies; they are moths. Um, and then in and then like Vampire Dust, which is from like a fairly common enemy. Vampires tend to be, especially with Dawn Guard, they're not like hard. They're not, like, super hard to come by. But, like, they're not farmable, like, a lot of the potions I've been trying to focus on in, in like, this. Okay, so we're trying to make our way over to Dawnstar for, uh, for a particular reason. And then we have to get over to, like, we have to get back over to Windhelm or, or Whiterun and get, um... I guess get a, uh, get a cart. Because for some reason, very fascinating choice, um, but all of the small, uh, capitals, so Dawnstar, Morthal, Falkreath. Is that it? Dawn, Dawnstar, Morthal, and Far Falkreath? Dawnstar, Morthal, Falkreath. Mm, yeah, I guess so. Um, but they're they're classified as hold capitals, and they have um, like the yarls of their respective locations, and they have a unique um, like icon. But they don't have uh, carts that send you to them, so you can get to you can get to Dawnstar, but if by cart, but if you, but you can't get out of Dawnstar by cart. Although they do have boats, I think, actually, now that I think about it. I just never, you know what? I don't think I've really, like, ever used, like, a boat in Dawnstar. Okay, so now we're here. We are at Dawnstar, which is good. Um, but we're not here for something necessarily directly inside Dawnstar. We are here because just southwest of it 
is a a unique little um, thing. Our our game peri peri ball. What have you got for sale? Who sells the Saturalia set? I need to sell, like, something to this guy. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't even thinking, yeah. Ar ag- No, not even Argain. Agrain. I love fantasy names so much. Truly love them. So so good. You gotta love fantasy names. Names from the fantasy. You see. Ugh. Oh, I have a Luna Moth wing. I could make a potion of invisibility if I wanted to. Um, I want to sell words and philosophy. Not a guide to better thieving. I want to keep that one. But yeah. Um, and I want to sell a couple of potions just because you have a fair amount of gold with you, my good sir. Random old man out here. And, let's see. So the boots are not quite as warm as Captain's boots, it says. But the gloves are warmer. The hat is the same. The clothes are the same. Altogether, slightly warmer. And so this is the Satoralia set. Um, I'm wearing... I'm currently wearing this on an Argonian that I'm playing, uh, who's a bit more um, pirate-themed. My my uh, headset. I unplugged my headset on accident. Um, but you know, it's a it's a nice set. I think it looks very nice. I enjoy the. I enjoy the design. Um, it's it's cute. I like the blue and red. Um, oh, I do want to talk briefly about this um, new character that I've been doing. Um, basically, like a pirate spell sword. Um, essentially, like. One of the one of the uh, the special edition things is like is adds like a bunch of pirate clothes. Um, you've seen them, you know the the captain's clothes, this thing. Um, I and I and I just basically wanted to be like, hey, so I want to be this person. I want to, or I want to like play as as like a pirate, but like a pirate who stays in like the, the pirate clothes. Fuck having like actual armor or anything. So it's basically like a like a spell blade who focuses on like alteration and uh, conjuration because conjuration lets you just summon your own uh, sword whenever you want. Um, like not a super powerful sword, but a useful one. Do I have either of these equipped? I don't think I want to disenchant those.
Yeah, I have these equipped. I don't want to. I'm here to lend my magic to the people of Dawnstar. If you That's hear about nice. the nightmares, I'm afraid my pleas to the College of Winterhold go unheard. So, you wish to master the arcane arts? Not particularly. I'm not much in the way of an arcane person. I mean, of a of a I'm not much of a wizard. Fine day in Dawnstar. Um What are you doing that for? I'm much more of an alchemist. And unfortunately that is not uh part of your college. Which is interesting. I'm kind of surprised that like there's not like, there's a guy who knows about enchanting, but there's not really, like, an alchemy guy in in the College of Winterhold. The mortar and pestle makes potions, if you can't tell from the name. Just yes, I am dating an arcane person. Person yes. named... Person named Arcane. Arcane person. My boyfriend, Arcane. Need something? Right, the poison, the poison, the poison for Cusco, the poison chosen specifically to kill Cusco. Cusco's poison. Yes. That poison. I love that um, yes. specific thing. I just need to get these things out of my inventory and then, like, probably sell them. Make it quick. I did. Almost 60 potions and I didn't level up. Speak. I just, I, I, I need to, I need to, like, emphasize that. That was 60 potions. Need something? Yes, yes, I haven't got all day. You don't have to be so impatient. You know, if you, uh... Yes, yes, I haven't got all day. You know, if you stepped away... But whatever. The hey, Frida. Has cures for every illness, from ataxia to witbane. That's nice. No, I don't have anything for bad dreams, so don't ask. Have you been in Dawnstar long? <laughs> I'm the oldest woman in Dawnstar. Was here when Scald the Elder was Scald the Younger. He's a fool if you haven't met him already. Thinks Ulfric Stormcloak is invincible and spits dragon fire the people here I mean I'm sure with enough study he could but yeah real fire brand going up wasn't surprised when she joined the legion so if if scald if scald the elder is currently scald the younger I don't think there's a there's a new scald the younger I don't think he named his son scald the younger I don't I don't even actually know if he has so a son. You're an alchemist, then. I mean I know it's just it's witty dialogue. I shouldn't I should not overthink it, but like Just selling my potions, got a lot of them. This one's actually useful, but it's only worth forty three gold. I have a decent potion, and people want to buy it. But it's not as... But it's not as valuable as the ones that are just bullshit. Let me know if you come down with the rats. See, now I need to go check and see if there is a Scald the Younger. Cause, cause if there is, it makes me think that Scald is just like, like they treat it like the way Sith do things of like there is only a master and a, and a student. There is only two. By the divines, I'm tired. Just a servant of Scald the Elder. Not worthy of time. Or okay, so you're Bullfrick, but you're just the servant. I'm you're... Scald's house carl and head of yeah. his guard in Dawnstar. Yeah, you're you're the house carl. Yeah, Skald doesn't have a kid. <laughs> so, yeah, so that does that's not that takes that off. It's not um 
it's not like yeah it's it's totally not that he has like a kid There's who no is also named scald no sovereign guard waits for i mean his father might have been named scald but like i'm overthinking this it's it's still funny to me all right so i think I think I can uh, take the. Yes, yes, I haven't got all day. You're so I impatient, ma'am, but I don't have any. You're so impatient, Miss Random Dark Elf, but I don't. But also, like, you don't have any quests for me. Everyone thinks I'm too young to be a ship's captain, but I'm going to prove them wrong. You're the By ship captain. As my men are fond of saying, can't blame them. My mother ran the sea squall as strictly as she ran the house. I've been trying to find new areas of business, trying to win the sailors' respect, but I keep having problems. Take the last trade we did, some fine cut void salts from the College of Winterhold. Plenty of corn if you know where to sell it to. So what happened? Sailors are what happened to them. They got drunk and ended up losing the merchandise in some cave. If you're not afraid of a little explore, why were they in a cave? Good goal to get those salts. Until next time. I might be convinced to go get the void salts. I don't buy all that talk about ship captains having to be stern and strict. I want my crewmen to enjoy their work. Ah, so you're pulling from the, from the uh, what you call it, the um. They say that vampires attack the hall of Oh god, from the Our Flag Means Death school of... of being a captain. God, that's a good show. Dude, what the fuck do you mean your fucking... your fucking crew lost... lost the shipment over here? Fuck off. That's so far away, man. You can, you can, that cave can keep the void salts for all I care. I'm not getting them back. At least not right now. Uh, hold on, checking the... Okay, looks like I'm still alive, that's good. Excellent! <laughs> okay, yeah. Alright. I just get occasionally very worried that my stream will just cut out randomly. Because it has happened before um, without any real warning or explanation. Not even in a way that it that that it tells me. I can take you to any port on the coast. I would like to hire your boat, good sir. Where are you headed? Windhelm. Climb on in the boat and get comfortable. Honestly, I'm surprised. Um, uh, Jarl, Jarl Scald will let you go to Solitude from here. But such is the whims of the free market, I suppose. It is fascinating that Dawnstar is still is still so supportive of the of Ulfric, considering like how close oof Ooh Big damage sort of. You're one of the same kind. I'm glad to have met you. I'm starting work on on the next chapter in a hunter's in Hunter's Mark, which is my um my destiny fanfic for my hunter named Hallow. Hello, being like, oops, 
drop something. But Hallow's like my one of my two like OCs. It's it's interesting because I, I feel like I should probably have like a warlock OC. Um, given that I play like all three fairly regularly. Or I or when I was playing D two I would play each fairly regularly. But no, like I, 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 I feel like most of the tropes for like Space Wizard have been played out. Man. You don't get fresh with Susanna. Let's save that appetite, hmm? I am the warlock, and by warlock I mean I made a dark pact with the with 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 Bife, and now I can't forget the lore of Destiny 2. No matter how much I no matter how sure little thing. I give a shit, That's I cannot rem <laughs> I cannot um I'll show you to your room. I've made a I've made the dark pack to the the my my fate is sealed. Like literally last night I was like I was just like I like to to a friend I was just like I was just like yeah no I remember to see you finally someone useful Around. Like yeah, no, I remember what 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 the name of X faction is. It doesn't help that like like I was like 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 V's was basically saying like what the fuck are the zombie enemies in Destiny? I was like it's it's the scorn. Of course I remember. It's the scorn. Um, <laughs> as if I do not have extensive thoughts on how, on the scorn in general, and the fact that they are like, that like only some of them are completely mindless and, and others have like, have like remnants of their personalities and they're, so they're like, so they're like elixni that ha that have like, tied to the darkness and have like this this power but also this like frustrating difficulty and so the and I want to get a rift and, back and, we'll be off. You might run into and like the, the parallels between them and house them and house them. salvation and how house salvation um is is marks the first time the guardians ever used the darkness so if a so if a if a scorn if a scorn left after like the fucking wave of destruction that that the guardians left in the tangled shore like their next best their next thing would probably be to enter house salvation and then if they were to and then if they were to like die or like have in if they were to like die or in some way they could like become like the first Stilixni guardian because they've already touched like the paracausality multiple times I don't know it doesn't help that like becoming a guardian is like deeply fucked up to me which is part of, which is basically the next thing I want to do with, um, at the Rift what I want to deal with for, uh... For Hollow. Um, this is what I was kind of trying to say, was just, like, Hollow being, um... Hallow is going to be a character that I'm excited to expand upon and, like, uh, sort of, like, because 
I want to kind of go down the long path of, like, she's not a hero yet. She's not ready to be a hero yet. She's very stupid. <laughs> um, not stupid, but, like, she's... Come back when you're ready to spend more gold. Like, having nothing when you wake up and, like, not having anything to fight for, like, I feel like, I feel like more Guardians would have, like, the issue of, like, who the fuck am I? And think, like, good on, um, good on, uh, if you've got, let's say, fat appetite. Like, um... What the fuck is her name? Door's over there. Um... Why don't you use it? Eh? I'm so... I'm genuinely surprised that I'm blanking on her name. It's... One of the Brays, Anna, Anna Bray. You look like you could use a drink. But like Anna, like, like had like a little hint of like her identity on her, and she like went on this quest of like figuring it out, like. But like, if you take that and extrapolate like over to the the rest of it, like, how fucked up is it? It's in, it feels like, like how are you gonna? 